Hey, what's up, nerds? Paul here at Radio Free Hammer Hall. Just wanted to do a little look at the GHB 2019 scenarios uh, and how they relate to prior scenarios and a really interesting trick that GW has sort of slid in here that I think is really awesome, and I'm very glad that they have done this. So, basically, there's been traditionally a problem where... Um, because of the table orientation of a lot of these scenarios, they just sort of didn't get played. And what I noticed is in the new set of scenarios, uh, we have alternate deployments for those existing missions with some slightly modified rules that give us um, really the ability to play all of those missions in more cramped environments where you have all of your tables sort of default set to the six feet wide and four feet deep and your edge to edge, you know, in like a big GT or a lot of local game stores are set up that way where they don't have, you know, a separate table with space in between for each uh, table. So let's just take a quick look at the 40K deployments just so we can put a name to a lot of these things. So Dawn of War is the uh, six foot wide, four feet deep deployment. Um, Hammer and Anvil is that turned 90 degrees, so four by six. And then Vanguard Strike is our diagonal deployment. Uh, 40K does have three additional deployment types and really they all kind of pop up in Age of Sigmar as well, but for purposes of this, like these are our three main types, and I'll just call anything that is this but slightly different just a variant on these because that's basically what we have going on. So this is just sort of a table that I drew up for what this looks like, and you'll see that with the 12 missions in the General's Handbook 2018 and 2019, all of these end up working on the six feet wide, four feet deep table deployment. Hammer and Anvil is the one that really it just doesn't work in a lot of uh, you know cramped GTs or cramped stores. Um, so really, all of these scenarios have now been designed so that you can play a version of that scenario that avoids a Hammer and Anvil deployment. The only... Um, Slight exception to this is Battle for the Pass, which has a Dawn of War deployment in the core rulebook, so you still have that Dawn of War option hanging out in there. So I've got to really give GW a lot of props for this, that they've noticed, I think, that not everybody really has the ability to play Hammer and Anvil missions and although they offer some really interesting strategic differences, um, a lot of GTs, a lot of game stores really just can't accommodate playing them comfortably. So having the ability to have a Dawn of War or Vanguard Strike variant uh, for each mission is really great, and I'm very, very glad that they did this. Uh, very cool. And, you know, feel free, copy this chart down and, you know, you can use this when you're, you're rolling up your scenarios and you can roll up, say, you know, uh, a GHB 2018 mission like shifting objectives and say, oh, it's Hammer and Anvil, so we can't really play it. But, oh, wait, there's a GHB 2019 version that's Dawn of War and we still can play that mission. So very handy. I really like that GW did this. It's a fantastic move. I don't even know if they really intended to do this, but it worked out this way, and I'm very happy for it. It's going to give us more variety for missions that are viable in GTs, which is super awesome. I'm really happy about this. Um, anywho, uh, feel free to leave questions and comments down below. As always, like and subscribe, and I will talk to you all later.